Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, I have an idea everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. So I'll go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Oh, that was not what I was expecting from what she was gonna say. Huh. That way everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Cab Gooey? Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I have to agree. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Terry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. Well... Those, uh... Those faces, uh... All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Have you, we? Oh, oh no, don't, no, you can't put me at this on the spot. Yeah, you are. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Terry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Oh, woo. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Read a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kevin, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee hee hee. Yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kevin, since we're already here, do you want to t walk home together? That's right. Sorry and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Who do I choose? Who is my favorite gal? Would I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Hmm. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright, what to write, what to write. Oh. What the heck? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not know this was something. Oh, woo! I, I'm excited, actually. Okay. Huh. Who do I go for? Who do I go for? I don't know. You know what? This is my poem, guys. This is this is my poem that I... It's not what the girls... You know, what I want to choose for the girls. It's what I believe my poem is the best will be. All right. D. Excitement. Special. Too many words. I don't know what to write. Excitement. Hmm. Excitement. Journey. Uh, what what what's effulgent? Hmm. Uh Doki Doki. Uh, 
essence. I'm just gonna pick the words that just, just you know, bring you know, just oh, pops up right in front of me. Ooh, heart. Yes. Heaven sent. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, destiny. Hmm. Wheat. Peace. Puppy. Promise. Eternity. Milk. Hmm, lazy. Lollipop. Raindrops. Vibrant. Climax. Huh. Adventure. Universe and precious. Oh, that's my poem, guys. My poem. Hi, Cap again, Cap Gooey. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kabgooey. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. They already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Kabgooey always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? He 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 he. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Kevin can become good friends too? Uh um. The Sayori. Hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh oh. You're even brought you something today, you know. Well wait, Sayori. Eh me? Um, no, nah, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Yeah, never mind. Sayuri, Sayuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what'd I do? Eh, hey, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. If you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect the Monica to kick off some scheduled activities with the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, you and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. 
I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Man. Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We are probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun night thing ever. Nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. After they come, we can do the things to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Harry's taking this really seriously. Rare to hear her deliber de deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food would do the trick? I was just thinking of that. Cupcakes! But what kind? Uh, well I guess we could. Cupcakes! Yay! Cupcakes! Ah, good, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Find myself smiling. In the end, Tyria is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Tyria can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh. Wah! Oh, just talking about her. Ooh, hi. Um, well... Wow, I'm going to end the episode here everybody, we made a poem, we will find out who of the girls will like it the most. Woo, who do you guys think it will be, let me know down in the comments, oh, oh, I feel like it might either be Monica or Sayori, I don't know why, just my feelings there, one of those two. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!